pay you to. <clears throat> Excuse me, RJ's Avenger. Uh, I want to talk about the Telma uh, braking system that is on my coach. It uh, it's part of the the, the drivetrain, the drive shaft, where your transmission at the tail shaft you have a another shaft, the drive shaft comes out of it. It attaches uh, through U joints to this Telma. And then on the back side of the Telma, going towards the rear of the vehicle, you have U-joints that attach to it, and then goes on back to the rear end. It, the drive shaft doesn't go through this; it, it it attaches to it on either end of it. It's a it's a magnetic braking system. There's there's all kinds of braking systems for diesel. Well, for well, diesel's what I know. Uh, a Jake brake, which a Jake brake is a lot of times confused with it with all engine brakes but Jake is actually the manufacturer which they go in your heads and it retards the valves which slows your your motor down for a big rig to go down a hill an exhaust brake which closes the exhaust off after the turbo which is like sticking a potato in your exhaust pipe and it's basically stopping the compression of it and it slows your motor down this is located, like I said, behind the transmission mission, mission, going to the rear end. It's called a Telma. There's there's other manufacturers of them, but this is the one that's on on mine. Uh, you can see here they're really common on trash trucks, uh, school buses, a lot of uh, local straight trucks use them. I you know I've been trucking all my life and I have never ever seen one of these. Excuse me, or or even heard of one of them to be honest with you. Uh, my father-in-law has been in the you know dealership end of, of trucking all of his life. He he knew exactly what they was, and that's you know he says they're really common. They're really common on buses. That's more like East Coast in the mountains, two lanes, West Coast in the Rockies. That's where you really see them at. Uh. This is uh, actually how it works. You can see right here, this is this would be your motor over here, and this is your drive shaft, the hooks, and then this is the actual unit, and then the drive shaft coming out. These blue round cylinders are actually the coils. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on video, but it's uh, plus and minus, it's hot and, and negative. And then the uh, the rotor, it's hard to understand. I've, I've I've looked and looked. To me, it looks like the way it's designed is you flip a switch, you put hot to it, which activates these coils, which sends an electrical current to the magnet, and it's kind of like a. That's hard to explain. It's it's kind of like two magnets kind of going together you know you if you put it I think it's a north and north together they they won't go together but if you put your north and south together together as you try to pull them apart you can feel that pressure until you get them so far apart there's no pressure well that's kind of what this is when you flip the switch and put power to it it's like you're closing them two magnets together and you can feel it start pulling well if there's something spinning in the center of these two magnets as you got them closer and closer and closer together, it's going to start slowing that down because it's it's drawing current through it, or on it, oh, it's through it. But but that's my understanding of how it works. I I don't think there's actually a shoe that hits these rotors. I think it's just the power of the mag magnet that's a, you know like it's hitting that metal and it's slowing it down and it slows it down unbelievably f uh, fast is what it does this is this is basically how mine is hooked up it's in the drive shaft like this this one's in the rear end there's three ways that they hook these up on school buses they do it on the brake pedal as you're applying pressure on the brake it applies pressure back to the to your to your actual uh, drum brakes or disc brakes whichever one you have but it also puts power to the Telma to the, uh, the coils, to the magnet, and, and to the rotors, and, and the harder you push, the more power you're putting to that Telma, and it slows you down fast. 
Mine has a hand control. It's on the dash. It's right beside my shifter. When it's flipped all the way up, it's off. When you hit this first level, it goes to 25%, 50%, 75, and 100. When we went up north, I would I was running the interstate and I would have my crew set at 60 miles an hour. When I'd go to get off the ramp, I'd kick the cruise off and I would go all the way to the stop sign and, and never touch my brakes. I would touch my brakes because I'm not sure. I need to have somebody check because I don't know if I push it if once I hit you know, 25, 50, 75, or 100 percent, the four stages. I don't know if my brake lights come on in the back. So I apply my brake just enough to bring the lights on so people know I'm stopping. But I'd come off the ramp and I'd start at 25 percent. And as I got closer to the stop sign, I would go to 50, 75, and 100. And I could, I could bring my rig to a complete stop almost within a few miles an hour to a complete stop the same as if I was using my brakes. That's how powerful this thing is. Uh, once the vehicle gets below two miles an hour, it will not work. It will work in reverse. It will work going forward. Uh, so as you come up to that stop sign and it stops, you have to reach up and flip it off to take off. I, I didn't try taking off with it on. I didn't, I, I guess I never even really thought to try it, but I don't know that that would be a good idea to, to do that. It, it may take off, it may, you know, put strain on everything too, because you're, you know, it's trying to stop and you're trying to go, which probably wouldn't be a good combination. But uh, that's how mine's hooked up. And then the other one's on the, on the throttle, and I never really, my research found anything where it was used like that, but uh, I'm assuming as you let up on the throttle, it would, it would go through the stages, I, I guess. Uh, this, is how mine is set up. It's not these lights, I have round lights. Uh, but as I turn it to the first stage, my first light will come on, then two lights, three lights, four lights for the 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Uh, there is important things like, like this at two miles an hour, it'll, it'll go off, but you need to make sure you flip it off before you take off. It will work in reverse, and it can be hooked up with your ABS. This is actually the unit right here this is how mine is hooked up uh they like i i never found none that was hooked back to the rear end like it showed in this diagram it's basically basically an owner's manual but all the ones i found are hooked right in the center like that this is your maintenance on it uh i don't think there's there's fluid like a rear end fluid or anything in it but it does say to check the grease seal of the drive line mount so where the drive shaft comes in on a U-joint and attaches to it on the front and the back, I'm assuming in there are seals that keeps it lubricated. It's probably about the only only fluid I would think in it. It says uh, check the hydraulic brake foot pedal adjustment, which I don't think I have that. But uh, that's basically it. I can show you some pictures that I have found of them. There you go. This is it. Uh, your drive shaft will hook right here. There's an attachment that goes, you know, your U-joints come back, then there's an attachment that goes to the drive shaft through the U-joints, and it's bolted on here. You can see the coils right here and the wires, and then the it's these right here that are tack welded on are the actual magnets. And then this is the rotor, and there's one on the front, and then there's one on the back. So as you're flipping your switch and you're putting power to these coils, it's magnetizing these, which in turn stops this rotor from turning, which stops your drive shaft from turning. Uh, this is a diagram of it. These are the magnets that was tack welded I showed you. And then these are the coils that go all the way around. I think there's eight of them. So as you flip your switch, you're magnetizing these, which puts a uh, pressure to the to the rotor i i don't think it it never makes contact with it i just think the stronger the 25 50 75 and 100 percent you hit i think that's just the stronger magnifying tape mega i don't know it's the stronger the magnet hits it <laughs> we'll go that way with it uh and this that i found come on this is actually this is pretty much what mine looks like. This is would be the motor and the transmission up at this end. These are the coils that are on it. 
and then it's hard to see here but you I can see it I hope hopefully you can see it this is the rotor right here and then the magnets are behind it so when the ma when the electric hits the magnets it slows this down this is your drive shaft going back to your rear end and this is where it all bolts on right here and it's the same way coming out of the transmission uh, I have a longer drive shaft than that but but that's the setup uh, I'll go up to the coach and I'll show you mine and uh, show you the switch and get up underneath it and actually show you what mine looks like uh, I'm gonna try to I don't know if I'll be able to do it this time but I'm gonna try to actually get it out on the road and have somebody go with me that can show you the speedometer as I'm hitting the stages and how how fast that speedometer will slow down it's pretty amazing so stick around uh, I'll uh, get to the coach and we'll go from there all right, this is the lever that does my brake. These are the lights. That's 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Uh, turn the key on. It's on. It's not going to do anything. But when you turn it on, you can see the first light. That's 25, that's 50, 75, and 100% put on. Uh, like I said, when, when we went up north... It was, uh, it was, it was crazy how fast it stopped this coach. Uh, I think the empty weight on this is 18.5 and 21 is the gross. So, I mean, that's, you know, you're looking, trying to compare it to something, but I mean, you're, that's, that's heavy, you know, for, for a coach. I, mean, I know that, gosh, the new uh, 45 footers, gosh, they're up, you know, 35, 40,000 pounds, but, uh, 20,000 pounds, 2021 on average, and that working that good. I'd be interesting to see how it does in the hills, uh, once, you know, it's all loaded, and if you got a vehicle or a trailer in the back, uh, just the little hills, like, I, you know, when I come out of Houston Woods that time, it's kind of a steep grade, and I used it, and it, I mean, you're going slow. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, I'd be interested to see how it does on, on a on a steep hill. You're definitely not going to smoke your brakes. If it works as good as it does, getting off the interstate and just going down the road and playing with it, if it works that good, you're definitely not going to smoke your brakes on it. So, uh, let me get up underneath and I'll show you what it looks like on mine. I did before I do that. I did look. I was trying to see how much these things are. And you can get on eBay and find them uh, used for probably twelve to sixteen hundred used, and they're usually strapped onto a pallet. I found them new anywhere from twenty-four to twenty-eight hundred. So there you go. Would it be worth it if you maybe if you ordered a coach and had it all put on? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be worth it or not, but uh, it seems pretty pricey, but. It seems like it does a really good job with very low maintenance on it. So, there you go. All right, let me uh, climb underneath. The guy's mowing outside. Hopefully, it doesn't mess with it too much. He, uh, by the time I got up here, he got started and he's got a pretty big yard. So, he ain't gonna get done no time soon. So, let me climb underneath and uh, give you a look at it. You can tell Willie's real super excited about it. What do you think about that, Willie? You like the braking system? I think it's a good braking system. Did it slide you off your seat, buddy? You don't care. All right, I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see this, and I'm on number two rocks. These are big rocks. That's it on mine. This is coming off the tail shaft to the drive shaft. You can see the drive shaft. This first one right here is the muffler. And that's it underneath, the big round thing. Uh, you can see the coils and you can see the magnetic little pads that's on it, but that's how big it is. That thing is probably, I'm just guessing two foot, or two foot across maybe, maybe more than two foot. I, yeah, probably 24 by 24, maybe 30 by 30. I don't know, I guess I'd have to measure it, but, uh, but that's it. And you see how the drive shaft hooks into it, and all it does is when you Shoot the juice to it, it slows you down. It works. Pretty amazing, but that's it.